Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I will show you how to get Optifine and shaders to work with the normal Minecraft and uh, with the multi MC and with the Twitch launcher. The last two are quite similar but we'll go to this view from this view. So I hope you think that's an interesting improvement and I hope this video will be helpful. Okay, so let's start with the vanilla launcher, the, uh, the regular and the easy way to get Optifine and shaders working. I've already downloaded everything that we need. There are links in the description. But I went to optifine.net and home and downloads. Let's see, preview versions, because these are not finalized releases, but they still work, seems to work at least. And so download this, I've done it already. And then simply click to install. Let's close this. Uh, as you can see, I have only the regular 115 and then 114 as well. So double click your preview Optifine. We will install to the default. It will find Minecraft there. Make sure if you have another path, perhaps you need to modify it, but this is my default path. So install it. Optifine is successfully installed. That's what we want to hear. Um, so let's start it up. And now the launcher will show you that you have a profile. You can still run it without Optifine, but we're here to do it. So let's, uh, let's start it up. And you can start it without any shaders. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you don't have shaders, you can't activate them. Uh, but I, I will do that quickly or very shortly. But if you can start it like this and you can enter a world, that means that Optifine at least is working. So going into options and video settings, you will have more things here if you have Optifine installed. So shaders, uh, I have nothing on. So let's uh, go into the tutorial world and take a look at how it looks. It looks like regular Minecraft, I think. So now we can go into video settings, shaders, and we can open the shaders folder. So we have it here and the, and I actually downloaded two of them. So let's add project Luma as well, as well as Silder's Vibrant 1.27 high. So uh, now if we go back here, we can see that we have two of them. And let's start with Silder. Click, reload, come on, done, done. And it's working. I think we have some, yeah, I, I turned actually the, uh, this part down. That's why we had a text file here um, because I changed the animation speed. So I've done this before of course but you can see it works. It looks good with the shaders, fantastic. The water looks great, the sun and the, and the rays and everything. We can compare with the other shader pack, Project Luma. Also looks great, it's very different, but still, yeah, different, but still good. Uh, it's hard to compare. So that's how easy it is to get the shaders working with Optifine in vanilla. Um, but we will not stop here. Uh, so let's take a look at the multi MC variant. And with this one, I will install both Optifine and Forge, so you can have other mods as well. So let's create a new instance, 115.2 OptiForge shaders. That's good. We go to Edit Instance and we install Forge. Let's 
take the latest version. I hope it works. And we go to loader mods and we add a few mods. So the mods we need uh, are mix in bootstrap. We need OptiForge. Let's take the latest one and then the latest one for Optifine. So those three are required. If you want to have Optifine, you need OptiForge and then you need Mixin to, to make it compatible. And if we hit launch, hopefully this should work. Takes a bit longer to load, but it seems to be running fine. So let's uh, make it a bit larger. And we'll see here that everything is... I haven't done this before, of course, because we just created it. So let's change the scale. And as you can see, we have Optifine running because we have all this extra stuff. And uh, if we go into shaders, we can see that we have nothing. Uh, so let's open this one and but still create a world. So let's create a new world. Opti Forge Shader. Okay. Okay, we have a world loading. It looks like normal. Um, but there is no, uh, we have no shaders. So let's take care of that. Uh, let's go to the video settings the shaders and we have that opened already and we have the shader somewhere let's try with the same ones put them in the same you can see them they show up directly so let's go with cylinders because i tend to like them a bit more reload everything done done and it seems to be working perfectly. Although I don't like the, <laughs> the leaves moving this much. So I can just quickly show where to change it. We have the shaders here, we have options down here, and then we have waving objects. I think lowest one is more appropriate. Now you're not getting seasick, I think. All right, fantastic. Let's go through the next variant. It's very similar. So with Twitch, it's basically the same thing. Go into your Minecraft mods, create one. We're going 115 again, since this video is for 115 and hopefully for later as well. So 115.2 Opti Forge Shaders. And we're using the latest one. Create. I see we have it here. But we don't have Optifine yet. So we need to add that manually. So come on. Applying patch. Install. All right. So if we add more here, we can search for Opti, OptiForge, we need that one. And I think we got, yeah, we got the mix in Bootstrap as well. So that's perfect. So let's, uh, oh, let's see, open folder, mods, and let's take this from where it go. Mods, and we take the latest Optifine and just place it here. It will, will probably not show up. Um, nope, it won't show up. But we can try to start it anyway. So Optiforge shaders, it would look like this because Twitch used the launcher, but it has its own profiles. And you can see it looks pretty much like the multi-MC version. Mm, 
Okay, great. We have... All right, now it looks good. So options, video settings, we see we have Optifine. And I really need to change this. <laughs> and uh, we go to shaders, we have nothing. So let's open the folder. And let's run this in Okay, create world, same as before, opt the forge, shaders, and create. So we have Optifine, we have forge installed, but we do not have any shaders. So same as last time, go into the shaders and we have the folder open. We have the shaders. Let's take the same ones. We know they work. To the Twitch Minecraft instance. And you can see we have them here. I can't get the window mode to behave, but that doesn't matter. Vibrant shaders. Go. And we are go again. So that's how you do it. I hope this was helpful um, and that you can get it working. It will be sensitive to what versions you use and uh, the versions will change and some may not be a compatible so yep i hope it works so with saying saying <laughs> thanks for watching and i hope i see you next time take care and bye bye